Hey, howdy, Astrid here, and it was kind of funny, because right before we hit record, the music died, so I had to wait for it to start back up. But listen to this. Uh, so this is Killer Love. It was made by, I believe, Andy Church. I'm going to go to the credits. So Andy Church, and the art was done by Tan. What song is this? Uh, I don't know, but I guess these are all the souls. Are all the songs and all the souls. You poor, poor souls. Uh... But I guess thanks these guys for uh, testing. Andy Church's coding and writing. And this game I think I saw, I guess about December, maybe November. And it piqued my interest. So Cure Love. It is a visual novel game that is about obsession, loneliness, and varying amounts of murder. You play as a man who has no memory of his past and just got hospitalized by a near fatal injury. You must deal with an, obsess an obsessive capture and you have to find your kidnapped girlfriend, and at the end you got some choices that can add to and lead to about four different endings. Its Steam page actually goes up today, February 7th, at least as far as the last time I checked it said February 7th. So that's how come I moved it to today, because this celebrate its official release on Steam. And you can go check them, Andy Church out on Twitter, uh, at Andy Church underscore. Uh, and if you get the game, it shows the links there. So, without further ado, let's get started. This is a work of fiction name. Okay, look. So, a work of fiction. Yes. Fiction's events. So, if you're under 13, go. Shoot. Get out of here. Jack. I'll never let go, Jack. In the arms of the angel. There's a voice calling to me. Wake up, Jack. It's a woman's voice. I want to keep on sleeping, but it doesn't seem like she'll give up soon. I open my eyes. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Chapter 1. Indecision. I know her. Not just because she's my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Her name is Anna. What? Can't talk? Is your throat too dry? Actually, yes, I do need some water. Uh, where I usually get my water from the filter down there. It's like a water fountain thingy, but the filter's broken, so I haven't had water for a little while. Hang on a second. Please, give me a glass of water. She comes back with some water in a paper cup. She helps me sit up, then puts a cup to my mouth and lets me drink. Good. Feeling better now? It, yeah. Thanks. Great. Are you comfortable here? Can you sleep well? How is your leg? Does it hurt? Are you bored? I'm, I'm alright. Don't, don't worry. Well, if you say so. Tell me if there's anything I can do to help, okay? You got it, boss. Yeah, okay. Um, actually... Yes, Jack? What is it? What's the date today? Do you know? No, just that. It's August the 3rd. I see. Thank you. Anything else? I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now. Other patients, you know. But I'll be back in a bit. Don't worry. Anna leads, leans down and pecks me on the lips. <gasps> but nurse, so scandalous. Bye bye. I hope you don't treat all your nurses or all your patients like that. Okay. Start of journal, August third. I. I'm going to kill someone. Probably her name is Anna. Oh. I don't want to do it. I'm I'm not a violent man. But what else can I do? It would be wrong to let her live, right? But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. I tested my grip strength today and I wrapped a hand around my wrist and squeezed. I couldn't make it hurt at all. Not even a little bit. But it doesn't matter much. Even if I was strong enough to go through with it, I'd still have to wait. I can't do anything until I know that Grace is safe. Grace, it, it hurts to think about her. I want to tell her I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got her involved. Please, be safe, Grace. Grace, 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 Grace. It calms me down when I read her name. Grace. Grace, Grace, I'm, I'm so sorry. 
August 4th. The journal's still here. Thank God. I was afraid she would find it somehow. When I saw that she didn't, it was such a huge relief. I wanted to write in it right away, but no, I didn't. I have to be patient, but I'm... Man, even in my diary, my jokes are too corny. No, I think they're rather amazing. I'll write only when I'm sure Anna isn't around. Not while she's walking around, tending to patients, pretending she's not who she really is. And it's a good thing I waited. And it's a good... She came into my room only a few minutes after I woke up. She smiled and asked me how my night had been. I held back from telling her I really felt about being here and about her. I mean, it's not like I could hide everything, not after what happened, but at least I can pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do. And who knows, maybe she thinks I'm, I'm, I've gone back to how I was before. I haven't gone back, and I'd rather die than be like that again, but it would be nice if she believed that. She let her guard down. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much, really. Even if she finds out what I'm planning on killing her, so what? So what? I'll end her life just the same, if it comes to that. I'll do it. If I need to kill Anna to save Grace, I'll do it in a heartbeat. Damn! You know what, actually? Grace doesn't even need to be saved. Yeah, Grace is fine, Some somewhere far away. Without a care in the world, and I'm worried over nothing. Yeah. Ooh, are you in the five stages of grief? Are you, are you in denial? Maybe? If only. What? If only what, Jack? What's going on? August 5th. I haven't gained any strength back yet. Am I being impatient? Can't be. I am a patient. I might be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I made that joke twice in like the last two minutes. The doctor thinks that for sure that I'm being impatient. I asked him for some exercises I could do. He just told me to shut up and rest. Lay down, take your pills, whatever. What are you such a what are you in such a hurry for? he asked me. I couldn't tell him, so I didn't say anything. Hello, I am the doctor. This is my doctoring voice. Howdy howdy. My next idea was to find a weapon. I haven't seen anything good though. I'll still look out for something I can use, but I haven't gotten my hopes up. I mean I could rip out the needle in my arm. Connected to the IV drip, but I don't think that'd be a good murder weapon. What then? Jeez, that, that kind of scared me. <laughs> I can't think of anything. My mind is foggy from the drugs and pain, and god damn it, why is there always so much bullshit? Damn it! Why do I always have to deal with all this? Nothing I try is going to work. Mm. August 5th again. I've calmed down. I I can't afford to lose my nerve, not now of all times. No emotions. That comes when I'm safe, when we're safe, both me and Grace. My biggest problem is not being able to walk. They've set the bones of my leg straight and everything, and it's healing this cast. But it'll be a long time before I'm able to walk, I think. Maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon. It could help me get my strength back. I'll ask the doctor when I see him. Ooh. It's early morning. I hear someone coming down the hall slowly, not in a hurry. They sound like they're wearing hospital slippers. Most likely it's a doctor and a nurse. I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. The door open, the doctor comes in, and a step behind him is a nurse that is not Anna. Thank God. A sigh of relief. In a lot of pain, huh? No, no, it's not that, Doctor. But, well... It can wait. Unless it's urgent. It's... Uh, very well, then. Mm. Nerf, give him... Knock him out so he doesn't cause any more trouble. I don't want to come back here ever again. The Doctor can't be over 35 years old. He's wearing a golden watch and a fine-looking leather shoes. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all. More like a businessman. Well, I mean... Kinda. The doctor goes from bed to bed with the nurse, checking on the patients, spending no more than a minute with each. He comes to my bed last. Okay, Mr. Friday. What was again? Let's see here. He, he lays through some papers, clicks his tongue. 
Ah, uh, you fell. Yeah. How the hell did you manage to do that? Oh, these substances were found in your blood work. Explain that mystery. Not very clever, are you? Generous, getting high and... Doctor, you can't say that! Oh, sue me. You know what, Doctor? I might just take you up on that. And you don't do it again. Next time I won't patch you up, you hear? I'll try not to. She's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. I've got more important things on my mind. Hey, Doc, how long until I can start walking? At least with a couple of crutches. I don't know. What? What? You, you're a doctor, aren't you? My doctor? The very same. Been here, you know, you've been my patient since I've gotten, you know, you've been here. Who do you think operated on you? I look down on my leg. I'm suddenly very unsure of what I'll see when the cast comes off. Can't you at least guess when I'll be able to walk? I'd rather not. The nurse standing next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. <sighs> but why not? Don't I deserve to know? Well, a lot of factors at play here, you see. You can either be a beat and just keep complaining, or you can get better. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. You see this? It's called the bird, and I'm sticking it right in your face, because I don't care about you. Plenty of factors can change on how quickly you heal a whole lot, so who can really say? Factors like what? Oh, so many of them. So, so many. Uh, like what? Like, uh, you know, your foot bones connected to your leg bone, and, uh, your leg bone is connected to your thigh bone, and depending on how they heal, uh, they can take a while. He glances down at his papers. Like your blood pressure, which is crap, by the way. Too many Big Macs, I see. Trying to do that documentary thing. Are you stressing or something? <laughs> yes. No, not really. I'm fine, doctor. He frowns a little. Well, you'll be fine. Kick your feet back and relax and enjoy my nice sensual voice. Whatever, what are you in such a hurry for anyways? You haven't got a job waiting for you on the outside or anything. Huh? How do you know that? Oh, well, nurse, uh... He snaps his fingers trying to remember. Anna. Nurse Anna, that's the one. She told me. And yes, I know about you too. No need to act surprised. You know, between a... Escort as yourself, though. We'll keep it down. You're a lucky guy, you know that? Yeah. When I first found out, I was against letting her care for you, being objective and all that stuff, you know? But she really wanted to, so I thought, whatever. You know, what can she do in a hospital? Especially when we got you hooked up to all these machines. And she's taking it well, so it's okay, I guess. The doctor stares off into space, then looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason why you want to get the hell out of here, huh? I don't blame you. <laughs> There's no privacy here at all. Wink. You know, was it? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, blink, blink. Oh, oh, no, no, I, I, I didn't. Don't, don't be ashamed. <laughs> I, get, I get what it's like. My man. He drops a smile. But you can't be thinking of those sorts of things. You've got to rush properly. All right? All right. Give me some skin, dog. Hell yeah, keeping it real. He leaves with a thumbs up. My man. Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling, and another one is grumbling with what might must be jealousy. Idiots. My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it three times now. I've got to write in it. So Hoda, how come the other patients haven't like found this journal themselves? My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone, even if it's... Oh, wait, I missed that. Uh... uh Got to write in it. Someone, even if that someone is a piece of paper. But not now. She's still out there. Somewhere. Ooh. August 6th. I'm going to press Q to save. I think that's saved. Save. Quick save complete. Yay. Oh, maybe I should click normal save. Okay. Cool. We'll choose part one. Um... I guess load. 
Okay, no. Return. Yay! I figured it out. August 6th. Damn it. God damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. 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 Wait and wait and wait. All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but wait. I checked my weight earlier today. I've actually gained five pounds. I've been wanting to bulk up. <laughs> but not in terms of fat. Wait. 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 For how long? Ooh, more interactions. It's two hours after I've written down those words. I'm looking at the little notebook that's in my journal. I've got it in my hands. I am amazingly lucky to have it. Someone had left both the notebook and a pen in the nightstand next to me, text next to my bed. I checked the night, night, nightstand's drawers on a whim, and there it was. Now, there's the only thing keeping me sane. There's no TV or books or even magazines in here. I'm counting the pages I've got left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in my pen. Then she comes in, and I feel my heart stop. Jeez, man! Like, all these duns, like, they get me. Oh my lord, my heart. You can't do that to you can't do that to a fella. Good evening, boys. Good evening. Good evening, boys. I already forgot my own voice. She greets everyone, but she's only looking at me. And again, like, if we're in the that room, like if we're all sharing a room, how come she like how come no one else like sees that? How come they were laughing about it and didn't suspect anything? That's that's my question. Uh, to you, good sir. <laughs> I remember back, uh, hello. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook, clutching it, actually. I can feel beads of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is small, very small. My hands must be fi hiding it from view, or are they? If she notice, Anna pays it no mind. She was a cart in the cart with our medication. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and pen under my blanket, smooth it over, and make quietly. How are you holding up, sweetie? I nearly jump as Anna's words whispered. Whispered words. I didn't notice her approach. Fine. F I'm fine. fine. Thanks. Hmm. Jack, don't you remember what I told you? It's no good putting on a brave face. I'm here for you, okay? What's this about? Does she know? I know. I know about everything, you see? She leans in closer, and I nearly faint. Everything? Y yeah? Yes. I had a little chat with the doctor, you know. And he told me all about how much trouble you're having down there. You naughty boy. Mm. As soon as I realize what she means, my tense body loosens up. Uh, yeah. That. It's a, <laughs> it's a bit of a problem, I guess. It's a little problem. It's small. Don't worry. Oh, I've seen it, Jack. It's not a small problem. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Your health is priority over sex. But don't you worry. I'm not going anyway. She puts her hand on my blanket, starts smoothing out absentmindedly. It makes me happy, though, to, to see you like this again. After how you acted before your accident, I thought, never mind. Without warning, she leans in ever so closely. I feel her hot breath on my cheek. But since you're so eager, Jack, I promise that after your release, I'll give you the time of your life. I'll make you finally forget all about Grace. Her words are a slap, like a slap in the face. I can only stare back. Hmm? So you still care about her? I don't like that. Someone like you and someone like her, you never should have been together in the first place. Please think only of me. After all, we were made for each other. If, if I do, if I, if I promise I'll always be with you, always, will you leave Grace out of this? No, that's no good. I can't do that. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Oh, what, what's what's from... Was it the Odyssey, Odyssey 3000 or whatever it's called? With, uh, or How with How? I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Just you asking that. Just you asking that. It shows you are still thinking about her. She hasn't, she hasn't got anything to do with us. I promise, baby. Come on. You gotta believe me, baby. 
what you do to me and what you know and what I'll do to you. So leave her out of it. Are you are you holding her somewhere? At least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy, even though you're still so confused. Anna, please. I'm close to crying. I want to tear my hair out. <laughs> Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I promise I won't hurt her. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what that is? Uh, I do. Of course I do. It's something she's been telling me to do for ages since before I got here. She's like a broken worker. You want me to remember everything? Yep. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be together again forever and ever and ever and ever. So promise you'll remember. I, 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 I promise I'll try. No, that's not good enough. You promised you'd try before, and look where that got us. Tell me you'll do it. I, I promise I'll recall it all. <laughs> <laughs> good. We'll work on that when you get out of here. But if your memory comes back to you before then, tell me before you tell anyone else. Okay? Darling. Bye-bye. For now. <gasps> Bye. I'll take care of that big problem for you later. She was at the cart, glancing back one last time with that eerie look of hers. I can't tell her. I already remember. I've known since before my injury. I've known that when we were both children, she... N no, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins, and Grace dies, and maybe I die too. I can't win by playing along with Anna's delusions. Ooh, fascinating. The plot thickens. Chapter 2, What Jack Lost. How long have we been going for 22 minutes? Let's see. I think we'll finish out the journals and we'll end it there. Because the music is keeping up. But this is so interesting. I'm getting into it. This is definitely going to be something I'm going to play afterwards. Because... I don't know, I always like, I like visual novels and I like doing voices, so... Or I've always wanted to play visual novels and I, I like doing voices, so I think this is right on my alley. I can't just sit here waiting. I've got to wait, and I will, but I feel like I can't wait either. I'm doing nothing and it's eating me up inside. If my stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Do, do you know that? I know that. If I don't do something right now, I'm, I'm afraid I might go crazy. <sighs> I go, uh, calm, calm down. I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe that'll help make sense of things. Right now, my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like flies around a turd. I want my mind to be clear, to do what I'm going to do and to do it properly. My mind needs to be clear, unclouded. This notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. So here it goes. Everything. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I met Anna, met her again, after so many years in the store where I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must have been following me. The first time she came in, I was at the cash register. She walked straight up to me, cutting in line. An old woman was busy cutting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there for a while, staring at me. And then she said, No. No, I can't do this. I can't, I can't start here. I can't do it. There's already too much of that woman in my life. I've got to start with someone else. Someone I miss. Grace. Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was, and is, still is, a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. I hated her. I hated most people, and most things. <laughs> I was a real asshole, you know. Oh, how did someone like you get with someone so sweet? I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a co-worker invited me somewhere, I turned them down. 
I didn't with, didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. It was just how I was, how I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. She tried to talk me a few times, but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. The times we still ended up together, working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while, then came the day we talked. Really talked for the first time. She asked me if I liked pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Ooh, girl, damn. Why would you say no to that? <laughs> I was restocking the shelves long and old, greasy, long haired man when Grace came along. I. Hold up, what? I was restocking the shelves alongside an old, greasy, long haired man when Grace. Okay, so yeah. I didn't even look at her. Instead, I became very interested in stocking cans of food onto the lower shelves. I waited for her to leave. Um, Cause Anna's a bit like this. You do it. So, Grace, um, um, Don, you can switch with me, all right? You can help Susie. I already did the bottom shelves there. Don, the old man, thanked her and left. And Grace started working next to me. A minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. <laughs> Whoops, I had to say something. Um, I'm fine on my own, you know. Mm hmm? If you want to take a break or something, you can. I'm fine on my own. Oh, no. I don't mind doing this. I see. Can't you take a hint? Ah, I screwed up by accident. Uh, can't you take a hit, then? It's, um, it's his back, you know? What? Don's back hurts a lot, so I asked him to switch. Oh, I see. He has trouble with the lower shelves, so, so I, I... I I get it. I, I didn't do it to bother you, I, I, I swear. I said I get it. Okay. He went on restocking in silence for about another minute. Um... I, I know you don't like me very much, so I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. So I'm sorry. <sighs> Who says I don't like you? Huh? Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah, don't take it personally. I do it to everyone. That's just how I am. I don't care about other people. Fucking dumbass. If I could go back in time and punch myself in the mouth, I would... So you like me? What? No, I, I didn't say that. I just hate you as much as I hate everyone else. Or, yeah, get a clue. <laughs> just kidding. We didn't talk for the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. She'll leave you alone, I thought, now that she knows I prefer it that way. But she didn't. I've always thanked my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that. Maybe she should have, though, for her own sake. I hope she can't forgive me. Ooh. Okay. I think that's where we're gonna end it, actually. Before we progress any further in the story, we got, you know, empty slot right there. Um, but before, you know, we we got to see Grace. We got to hear her. She, she's she's a she's a sweet little girl. I'm not good at female voices. <laughs> and then we also met Anna. Hello, darling. Something like that. I don't know. I'll have to try and remember that the next time I record this, which might not be for a little while till after February. Uh, but let me know if you guys want this to be a live stream series or just a recorded series just like this. Uh, I'll keep... Yeah, I think it's, it's really written really well. I love all the, the cues with the music and everything. Like, it, 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 it got me a few times. Like, it freaked me out just a little bit. And I mean, sure, I'm messing around, having a little, little bit of fun with the dialogue, but I think it's still really interesting, and I can't wait to see how it ends. And if I keep saving like this, uh, looks like we actually have quite a few, uh, yeah, quite a few pages. Automatic saves, quick saves, okay. But uh, hopefully it all goes well, you know? Or not all goes, I'm sure it's all going to go well, but... Hopefully y'all enjoy this. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to play this a bit more uh, later on after when I'm done here with Indie Love Month. 
go check this game out. Please, Killer Love on ish.io and his Twitter and Steam now. Yes, Steam. Woo! So Andy Church, I just want to say congratulations for getting on Steam. Uh, already, I'm like, thank you for this game. Like, ooh, whew. It's giving me chills. And I think I think this is the first visual novel going up on my channel. Uh, so if you're new around here, I'm Icy Richard. Uh, I don't know why I'm kind of fumbling. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know that whole deal. But as always, stay kind, be awesome. Tip which is a heck of a whole lot. I'll be seeing all of y'all next time. Peace out.